Good morning, Calvary. I'm glad to be with you for our continued read through the book of Exodus. Have you ever wondered about God's plan for you? I know I have. I wonder about the next steps God has for me. I wonder about the course my life should take. Sometimes I wonder about ministry and how things should move forward. Um, I wonder about what God's plan is for my kids. Really, there's no end to the questions that I could ask about God's future plans for me. I rarely get a very clear answer. Usually, God will give me just enough direction for my next step. It's rarely a fully charted out map that explains each turn, pit stop, and bump along the road. That's not really the case for our buddy Moses. He receives from God a pretty detailed plan on how God would rescue the Israelites from enslavement in Egypt. You can read the details of this plan in Exodus 3, 16 through 22. Let me sum it up for you. Moses was to gather the leaders of Israel. Then he was to explain to them that God had seen their oppression and would rescue them. Moses and the elders were to present to Pharaoh their request to leave Egypt. Then they would be able to go free, plundering the Egyptians on the way. Sounds like a great plan. The end would be freedom. In the end, they would be enriched. The end would be their ability to live for God and worship him. However, couched in this very good plan of God was a bit of rough road ahead. Let's see what God told Moses. It's in Exodus 3, 19 and 20. And it says, But I know that the king of Egypt will not let you go unless compelled by a mighty hand. So I will stretch out my hand and strike Egypt with all the wonders that I will do in it. After that, he will let you go. So God has a good plan with a good ending, but that doesn't mean there won't be some rough spots along the way. There will often be opposition to God's rescue plan. In the case of the Israelites, it is opposition from Pharaoh, but that opposition won't stop God. In fact, God is going to use that opposition to show just how powerful he is. Through a show of great wonders and power, Pharaoh will be forced to let the people go. The Egyptians will be glad to shower the Israelites with riches just to see them get out of their land. So what does this mean for us today? We are all in the rescue plan of God. He has a plan to rescue you. He wants to rescue you from sin, from addiction, self-destruction, broken relationships. The list can go on and on. He set that plan in motion with Jesus Christ coming to be your savior through his death and resurrection. He made that rescue plan easily accessed by your faith in Jesus, as he promises a great ending with him forever in eternity. But there will be opposition. Sometimes that opposition comes from others as they seek to discourage us and keep us from walking in freedom. Sometimes that opposition will come from ourselves as our sinful habits seek to keep us enslaved. Always this opposition has its foundation in Satan's war against God and his people. But in spite of the opposition, God's power will still win out. Let me encourage you with two thoughts. First, don't be like Pharaoh. Be quick to pursue freedom and help others pursue freedom. Don't resist God's plan to give you freedom. Don't be so stubborn that you require God's power to be used to force you to seek freedom. Second, trust God to overcome the opposition. He has the power to do it. So in prayer and faith, look for God to move to secure your freedom. I hope that you will join us this weekend at one of our campuses to celebrate God's great plan for your freedom. I'll see you there.